ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamumunuhan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our Into Radio special report episode for this day. Today is Monday, February 28, 2022. I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and together with me is Lady Jane Florese for our technicals. And we're broadcasting simultaneously on Into Radio and to be premiered on the next day on the hand. Philippines YouTube channel. We shall commence our presentation in just a moment and we will be back after our commercials. Now this.
Meron akong pangarap. Para sa aking pamilya. Para sa aking kapwa. At para sa bayan. Kahit mahirap. Kahit masakit. Matapang pa rin tayo, ang tropa hindi nang iiwan. Ang sengas isang instrumento, ilang beses matumba, tayo huling baba. Luman ang ating pinagalit, tayo ay hindi iiwan. Welcome back to our Into Radio special report episode for this day. This afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, we will discuss to you about the National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month in our country. Why do we need to celebrate this event? What is the essence of this event? So without further ado, here now is our topic. In our special report episode for this day, the National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month. Uh, Ms. Uh, Lady Jane, can you uh, share screen please? Thank you.
Okay, so here now is our topic, ladies and gentlemen, the Down National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month. Uh, Lady Jane, next slide, please. Okay, next slide, please. Okay. So what is the National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month? Ladies and gentlemen, here. Everyone has something about them that makes them unique. Why? Because no two people look the same or behave in the same way. We are all made up of a combination of genes that have been inherited from our parents. Genes carry information that determine what characteristics are inherited from our parents, such as the color of your hair, how tall you are, and the color of your eyes. Okay, so in other words, Regardless of who we are and the way we were, everyone has something about them that makes us, makes them unique. Because, ladies and gentlemen, genes carry information that determine the characteristics such as the color of the hair, the height, and the eye color. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Thank you. So Down syndrome, ladies and gentlemen, is a uh, previous slide, please. Okay. Um, pre not, no, no, no. The, uh, to, the, the fourth slide, please. Thank you. Um, Lady Jane. Okay, Ma'am Lady Jane, um, the fourth slide, please. Ah, uh, hindi, 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 hindi. Hindi. Ah, uh, can you go back to the other slides, please? Thank you. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the essence of this event is that here in the Philippines, Down syndrome is quite prevalent in our country. One in every 800 babies are born with this condition. The reason why we celebrate the National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month is because we need to raise awareness about the needs and abilities of persons with Down syndrome. We are all unique individuals with differing looks, health needs, and intellectual abilities. The same can be applied to a person with Down syndrome. Many people are unaware that most young people with Down syndrome can enjoy a very typical life with, with a range of support needs that can be minimal or more complex. That This will depend on the individual, ladies and gentlemen. As Down syndrome is a genetic condition, there is a screening test available for expectant parents who are interested in discovering if their unborn child may have Down syndrome. The test also screens for 17 other genetic conditions and provides accurate results in a timely manner. 
The prenatal genetic screening test from ECDNA Philippines is non-invasive, requiring no aminocentric sampling. A standard blood draw is all that is required to undertake the DNA test, but it should be mentioned that this does not replace a diagnostic test. So, what does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? Because Down syndrome, ladies and gentlemen, is a genetic condition, there is a screening test available. Why? Because the purpose of this, ladies and gentlemen, is to determine if their unborn child may have the condition. Okay. As we move on, the National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month aims to educate people about some of the common myths surrounding people with this condition. Persons with Down Syndrome, ladies and gentlemen, can lead very fulfilling lives. They attend schools, have a wide range of talents. They are very emotional like, like anyone else and to participate in many regular activities. It is time to focus on the ability of the people in our community and to celebrate individuality and Down syndrome is no exemption. So according to Proclamation Number 157, it states there, it is the policy of the state to provide priority for the needs of the underprivileged sick, elderly, PWDs, women, and children. The Philippines recognizes that persons with disabilities and children with disabilities have the right to special care, education, and training to help them enjoy full and decent lives in dignity and achieve the greatest degree of self-reliance and social integration possible. There are now hundreds of thousands of Filipino children with Down syndrome who are invariably suffering from genetic, mental, physiological, and, and physical disabilities. Nationwide awareness of Down syndrome condition will immensely help in educating the public on the great potential that children will, with Down syndrome possess to live lives in, the, in their normality or their normal lives, rather. So, according to former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, she declared the month of February every year as the Down as the National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month. This is a joint between the Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, the Department of Health, Department of Education, the Department of Labor and Employment, Department of Social Welfare and Development, other related agencies such as the National Council on Disability Affairs and the appropriate non-government organizations are enjoined to extend their utmost support and cooperation in the commemoration of this event. Sa ibang salita, nagsasanib puwersa ang National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month. Ito yung sanib puwersa ng kagawaran ng kalusugan or yung Department of Health, kagawaran ng edukasyon, DOLE, DSWD, NCDA, or yung National Council on Disability Affairs at ang Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines at yung ibang mga non-government organizations that promote inclusion. So, based on this paragraph, ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of this is to join together these groups to celebrate the National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month. Ms. Lady Jane, next slide, please. Let us define what Down syndrome is as a review. Next slide, please. Uh, Lady Jane, about what Down, what Down syndrome is. Okay. So what is Down syndrome, ladies and gentlemen? First of all, uh, go back to the other slide, please. So, what is Down syndrome? Well, Down syndrome is also a trisomy 21. This is a genetic condition that occurs 
when an error in cell division results in an extra chromosome 21 for a total of 47 chromosomes instead of 46. This condition could affect a person's physical growth and cognitive ability, cause mild to moderate developmental issues, and present a higher risk of some health problems. Next slide, please. In next slide, what are the causes of Down syndrome? Human cells, ladies and gentlemen, normally contain 23 pairs. Why, ladies and gentlemen? It's because one chromosome in each pair comes from your parents, your father, and from your mother. Down syndrome results when abnormal cell division involving chromosome 21 occurs. These cell division of the mouth in an extra partial or full chromosome 21. This extra genetic material is the specific features and developmental problems of Down syndrome. Any one of the genetic variations can cause Down syndrome involves the following. Next slide, please. So here are the three types of Down syndrome. First is trisomy 21, mosaic Down syndrome, and translocation Down syndrome. I will explain this to you one by one. In trisomy 21, about 95% of the time, down syndrome is caused by trisomy 21. Why is it called trisomy 21? It's because, ladies and gentlemen, the person has three copies of chromosome 21 instead of the usual two copies in all cells. This is caused by abnormal cell division during the development of the sperm cell or the egg cell. In the mosaic Down syndrome, it, a person has only some cells with an extra copy of Chromosome 21, the mosaic of normal and abnormal cells is caused by abnormal cell division after fertilization. In the translocation Down syndrome, Down syndrome can also occur when a portion of chromosome 21 becomes attached onto another chromosome. These children have the usual co two copies of chromosome 21 but they also have additional genetic material from chromosome 21 attached to another chromosome. There are no known behavioral or environmental factors that cause Down syndrome. Next slide, please. So my question is, what are the symptoms of Down syndrome? Each person with Down syndrome is an individual. Intellectual and developmental problems may be mild, moderate, or severe. Some people are healthy while others have significant health problems such as serious heart defects. Children and adults with Down syndrome have distinct facial features, though not all people with Down syndrome have the same features. Some of the most more common features include the following. Next slide, please. The most common features of Down syndrome or the more common features of Down syndrome includes the following. So, um, okay, flattened face, small head, short neck, protruding tongue, palpebral fissures or upward slanting eyelids, unusually shaped or small ears, poor muscle tone, Broad, short hands with a single piece in the palm, relatively short fingers and small hands and feet, excessive flexibility, rush field spots, and short height. Next slide, please. There is no way to prevent Down syndrome. If you're at high risk of having a child with Down syndrome or you already have one child with Down syndrome, you may want to consult a genetic counselor before becoming pregnant. A genetic counselor can help you understand your chances of having a child with Down syndrome. He or she can also explain the prenatal tests that are available and to help explain the pros and cons of testing. Next slide, please. 
The month of February, ladies and gentlemen, is declared as National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month by virtue of Proclamation Number 157, signed on February 18, 2002, by former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. The observation promotes awareness of Down syndrome to help educate the public about the great potential possessed by children diagnosed with the condition that let them lead normal lives. And also, according to what we have learned from Connecting with Down Syndrome webinar last year, We learned that Down syndrome is also called as trisomy 21 because it's a genetic condition which occurs when an error in the cell division results in an extra chromosome 21 with a total of 47 chromosomes. This will affect the physical growth and cognitive ability of a person. Next slide, please. That now concludes our topic. Let us now move on to our next part of our show. We'll be having updates in relation to the 2022 national elections. Mark BBM, Bongbong Marcos, wants a five terms for SK and barangay officials. Presidential candidate Bongbong Marcos, or commonly called as BBM, said, Last Sunday, in his visit in Pangasinan, that he planned to revisit the third periods of Sangguniang Kabataan and the Barangay. When he spoke to over 100 Barangay officials and workers in Malasiki, he vowed to give village officers a bigger voice in the national government and to strengthen partnership between the two levels. He said that this was crucial because... The barangays know more about the situation in their neighborhoods than the national government. BBM drew cheers from those in the audience after seeing the barangay and SK terms could be fixed at five years. Because of the repeated suspension and rescheduling of the barangay and SK polls, the barangay elections has been postponed thrice since 2016, but the last law moving the polls to December 2022. Siguro, according to BBM, he said that siguro pag-aralan pati natin kung gaano kadalas dapat ang maging election ng barangay official da dahil lagi naman na postpone eh. siguro ang proposal namin noon nung nasa Senado ako ako ang chairman ng local government ang sinasabi namin palitan na natin going 5 years na he said in the debate um, Marcos 2012 will only hurdle the committee level Another pending measure was filed by his sister, Aimee Marcos, in 2019. BBM added the current term limits already hampered how barangay officials perform their duties. According to BBM, he said, Maging practical na tayo at ilagay natin. Sabihin natin kung ano man talaga ang magiging tama na pangyayari. Kasi mahirap naman mayroong tayong election every year. So wala tayong gagawin kundi mga ngampanya. Saka yung nakakabigat, hindi lamang sa mga kandidato, hindi lamang sa mga leader, kundi sa taong bayan din. Mahirap gawin ang trabaho kundi hindi ka nakikiyak. Marami kang panahon para tapusin ang mga inisyatibo na dinadala nyo sa komunidad ninyo. BBM, a former governor of Ilocos Norte, added he would push for the benefits of runway officials and workers to be released. The stop in Malasiki was part of his weekend-long campaign in Pangasinan that followed a morning motorcade. So that concludes our election 2022 updates.
Okay, let's now move on to our next part of our show, Sino Ka? Know your candidates in the 2022 national elections. Next slide, please. Our featured candidate is Lito Atienza. So, he's running for vice president in the 2022 elections. But before that, he is the host of Manila on GMA Network since 1998. He is the former assemblyman representing Manila from 1984 to 1986 at the Batasang Pambansa. He is the former vice mayor of Manila from 1992 to 1998. He was the former mayor of Manila from 1998 to 2007. He is the former DENR secretary from 2007 to 2009. The current member of House of Representatives for the Buhay Party list since 2013, and he's the current Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives since 2020. And please vote Lito Atienza for Vice President in your ballots this May. This May 9, 2022, let's vote wisely. Next slide, please. Let us move on to our some of the most important announcements. Next slide, please. So, as part of our continuing efforts to support our organization, we urge everyone to purchase our products in our Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. The products that we are selling are the following. Our t-shirts and our tote bags. For our t-shirts, we have the Talano Gold Colored Limited Edition and our regular One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. For the regular One Inclusion Nation t-shirts, is available in red, black, blue, white, and yellow. All sizes were 275 pesos. For the Talano Gold Colored, it's 325 to 350 pesos, small to XL. And for our One Inclusion Nation tote bags, is available in white and black. Sizes are ranged between medium to large and prices are ranged between 150 to 200 pesos. So, how can you order there? Ladies and gentlemen, well, first of all, we'll be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. I repeat, payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from GCash and we will deliver your order products via GoGo Express and LBC as well. Next slide, please. So the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under alert level 5, but it will continue to serve in areas under alert level 1 to 4 only. Its operating hours are from 12 midnight to 11.59 in the evening. So for a full list of orders, please visit the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Next slide, please. Again. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I said earlier, as part of the continuing efforts to support our organization, we need your help, especially to our viewers watching. We at Hands in Inclusion really needs your help. To be honest, ladies and gentlemen, many of us have already been struggling with our financial problems in our organization. So, sa totoo lang, ladies and gentlemen, karamihan sa atin ay may nakakaproblema sa ating mga financial. So, regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. It will be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hands and Inclusion Philippines as well. How? Scan and donate using Gcash and this QR code that is flashed on your screen. And you will see this in one of our posts in the social media pages of Hands and Inclusion. And also through the barrier as inclusion, you may donate using an Alcan shop or a coin bank. Any amount can do, 
and also to be donated through Union Bank as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, lang, please support Hansen Eight Christian Philippines through your purchases in the online shop and for your donations as well. This is part of our continuing efforts to support our organization. So please help Hands in Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. We're aiming to raise funds in our organization and let us have the time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger, better, and a bolder Hands in Inclusion Philippines. So the proceeds from the sales in the online shop and for your donations will go to us here in Hands in Inclusion especially for the formality, for the expenses, and the financial aid of our members due to the effect of this trying time. So guys, for those who did this, thank you very much for your continuous generosity and for your support to the organization. Next slide, please. So if you have any problems with your computer, your laptop, your desktop, your tablets or your phones, regardless if it's a Windows, a MacBook, or Apple, if it's an Android or an iOS, or if you want to download games for your phone or tablet, if you want to download some music, and also for movies as well, Sir Mark Betita will be at your service for you. So if you want to do this, uh, you may message Sir Mark Petita on Mark PC Laptop Repair Services. You may message him through Facebook, Mark Paolo Petita, or you may contact him at 0947 355 4759. Again, 0947 355 4759. And Sir Mark Petita will be here to help you to troubleshooting your problems or your downloading as well. Next slide, please. Okay. So, we have some um, events coming up for the month of March in Best Buddies Philippines. So, for our Best Buddies Philippines, Saturday series and other events. First, it is um, looking forward to a fun, friendship filled Best Buddies month with all of you. So, the roster of activities will be taking place this month are because do you know that March is Best Buddies month? Why? Because all month long, we'll be celebrating our mission of spreading hands-on inclusion, regardless of who we are and the way we work. We'll be having here the following events. So on March 5, 2022, we'll be having Colorful Friendship Cupcakes. On March 12, 2022, we'll be having Perfect Friendship Pins. We'll be having... Wellness Wednesday with Coach Pepper and Be Fit Active Buddies. And the purpose of this is to get us in moving in a fearless way as we make our new friends in fitness on March 16. We'll be having Beloved Friendship Bracelets on March 19 and Jolly Friendship Jams on March 26. We'll be celebrating Spread the Word campaign online with Special Olympics and the Guild of Thomasians Pedicators. And also for the World Dance Syndrome Day, so stay tuned for these. So if you want to join these events for the month of March in Best Buddies Philippines, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram, send them a message, and the registration form will be sent to you and also on your emails as well. In Best Buddies Philippines, we make a friend. Make a friend. Be a friend. Next slide, please. Okay, we urge everyone to continue supporting for Project Sold Out. Let's find out in the next consecutive slide. So, 
Okay. So for our project sold out, which we want to continue supporting project sold out, we'd like to thank Special Achievers, Hiraya Gallery, and all the sponsors partnered organizations for making this event possible. So if you, if you want to check this out, please check Special Achievers Facebook page as well. Next slide, please. So guys, kung gutom kayo, plano na pa yung pang almusal nyo, pang hapunan, pang tanghalian, pang merienda, kahit ano okasyon, pwede naman kayo mag-order sa Sobra Comfort Food at sa Kuya Korea Restaurant. Una, sa Sobra Comfort Food, ang mga menu ito ay mga pagkain ay ang mga susunod. Para sa all day breakfast, tapa sobra, chicken tocino, corned beef brisket, homemade spam at beef salpicao. Ang itsura ito ay solo hanggang large. Ang presyo nito ay 200 65 pesos to 1,450 pesos. Next slide, please. For our rice trays, Okay. For our rice trays, our menus are beef bulgogi, beef shawarma, beef gyudon, pork crackling beets, pork belly bird, and star chicken, and boneless fried chicken. Sizes are ranged between solo to large, and prices are ranged between 265 pesos to 1,700 pesos. For our sandwiches, we have our fried chicken sandwiches, food pro sandwich, Corned beef sandwich and chicken tocino sandwich. Sizes are ranged between regular, large, solo, and box of course. And prices are ranged between 320 pesos to 1,540 pesos. And also for the pasta, we have mac and cheese and penne and gorgonzola. Sizes are ranged between solo to large and prices are ranged between 290 to 1,350 pesos. So how can you order there? Head over to the Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant. Select the dishes you want to order. Choose between pick up or delivery. Pay conveniently through any of the same integrated payment methods and your order is confirmed. Please check your updates via text or your email as well. Also, for if you want to crave for something Korean, and you want to order some of the foods from the Kuya Korea Restaurant. For the Kuya Korea Restaurant, the menus are for our rice rolls, beef bibimbap, beef bulgogi, pork samgyuk, and K-pop chicken. Prices are ranged between 195 to 220 pesos. For the boneless popcorn chicken, sizes are ranged between half to whole, and prices are ranged between 235 to 435 pesos. With the flavors of gochu, ganjang, chicken, and cave buffalo. If you want to order there, please check the Kuya Korea website for your orders as well. And lastly, follow us, Hansen Inclusive Philippines, on Facebook and our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. You we may also do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Hansen Inclusion PH. Inclo Radio, Inclo Sports, Inclinihan, and the online shop. Instagram, has an Inclusion PH. Twitter, HNI Philippines. Kumu, HNI Philippines. And subscribe to the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So guys, for those who did this, thank you very much as well. So now, it is the time for our uh, greetings. So for our greetings, uh, to Sir Mark Betita, good evening to you. Thank you for watching. And to our birthday celebrants, we'd like to greet a uh, belated happy birthday to Franz Merida and also 
Jian. Carlo, Giancarlo Mendoza, and also to those who are sending, and also Bia Panambo. Happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And also, shout-outs and greetings to my family, to Hands and Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benilde, and other PWD organizations. Thank you very much as well. And also, to my high school and college friends as well, and to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood. Sana na sa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. Kung hindi, meron kayong sapat na panahon para magsiayos ang inyong kalagayan at ang inyong kagalingan ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. To those who are watching us on Angel Radio, thank you very much as well. And if you missed this episode, it will be premiered on the next day on the Hands and Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. Before we wrap up our show for this day, we will have some final words for, our, for the day. To everyone watching and to the Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines. This month marks the 30th anniversary of your organization, Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, and we would like to congratulate you on this momentous celebration. For the past 30 years, the Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines have shown valuable support for persons with Down Syndrome and their families. We thank you for being, for championing for and sharing in the growth and triumphs for the very same individuals we love and care for. May this occasion bring you and the people you serve many more blessings in the years to come. Again, our warmest congratulations to all in the Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines. On behalf of Hands in Inclusion Philippines, led by our founder, Roylan Marlang, congratulations to the Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines for its 30th anniversary this year. And also to celebrate the National Down Syndrome Consciousness Month. And aside from this, as we prepare ourselves for the 5th anniversary of Hands in Inclusion Philippines this coming March, next month, apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of our organization, Hands in Inclusion Philippines, in the future as a formal organization and to expect a fresh new start in our organization. And also, guys, tomorrow is my birthday as well. Okay. Uh, Miss Lady Jane, uh, stop share screen, please, and on cam, please. As we wrap up our show. Okay. Uh, please mute your mic, please. Uh, on your mic, please, for your final words to our viewers. Um, excuse me, your mic, please. Uh, your final words, please, to our viewers watching. Okay. 
Salamat po sa inyong panonood sa atin. Ay magbenta ka, hindi ka gaya nung una wala pang pandemic. Hey! That's a wrap for our Encourage Special Report episode for this day, Monday, February 28, 2022. On behalf of Encourage and Hansen Inclusion oh. Philippines, I am your host, mm-hmm. Carlos Miguel Karahashi, and together with me is Lady Jane and Yassar. Yes, Inclusion Muli, magandang gabi at pagpalahin na wa tayo ng tuong may kapal. May the mighty God bless us all. All together, Pilipinas, God first. H-N-I, God first. Thank you very much for watching our special report. And thank you, Miss Lady Jane, for your time as well with me to assist me. Have a blessed evening to all and a goodbye for now. We'll see you on Wednesday at the same time for our special report. Bye-bye. And what's the IR again?